For today's adventure, we're in the green pastures of downtown Vancouver. This is the beautiful Mark building on the corner of Hornby and Dunsmuir. Built in 1965, its famous fifth floor has been home to several establishments since then, including the popular dance club Sneaky Pete's in the 70s and 80s. In 2000, it became Brandy Show Lounge. Recent winner for Best Strip Club in Vancouver, Brandy Show Lounge is a very classy establishment and they expect nothing less from their visitors. A dress code is in place. For the discretion and protection of everyone in the lounge, there is absolutely no photography allowed. Nary a picture has been taken inside for over 20 years. Until today. I've been granted exclusive access to tour this incredible place and even find the exact spot where a Hollywood scandal occurred in 2003. I hope you'll join me. Sometimes referred to as a gentleman's club, Brandy's actually caters to couples and up to 40% of the clients are women. Twice a month, a place is packed for ladies' night. Jam-packed. The first thing I notice is how squeaky clean it is in here. The place is spotless. Brandy's is known as a classy, high-end, first-rate club. They specialize in premium bottles of champagne, but it looks like the bar is fully stocked with all kinds of goodness. Uh, excuse me, barkeep. Uh, I think I'll have a Roy Rogers, please. Brandy's has an international reputation for its top-notch exotic entertainment. Entertainers who want to perform at Brandy's are required to audition. They must have an excellent show with original costumes. If you visit Brandy's, you might see an astronaut emerge from a cloud of smoke, characters from the Ghostbusters, or a fire-breathing devil. Vancouver is known as Hollywood North, and when the industry's biggest stars are in town, this is where they come to unwind a little bit. Celebrities appreciate that Brandy's staff never say a word of their visits. It's all top secret. Apparently, the biggest names enjoy sitting in this corner VIP booth. In 2003, paparazzi apparently started following Ben Affleck and Christian Slater, who were both in town filming movies. According to reports, Christian was filming something called Pursued, and Ben was being paid $15 million to star in a movie called Paycheck. Brandy's personnel would never say a word, but according to a particular gossip magazine, Sweet Ben and Christian were joined that night by Christian's wife Ryan and Big Lebowski star. Tara Reed. As we check the view from Ben's seat here, I can let you know that what happened next is uncertain. I've read several different stories. The common thread appears to be that Ben went to the back booth for a private dance. Let's go back there now. My host here wouldn't say a word of that night, or any other night for that matter. But if the paparazzi rumors and tabloid reports are true, Mr. Affleck would have walked down the discreet back hallway and sat in here to enjoy a private show. Incredible. Maybe he was thinking about a sequel to his 1998 hit Armageddon called Armageddon On. Some say that after the private dance here, Ben returned to a rented home and enjoyed a dalliance with one or more strippers. And he was disloyal to his fiance, Jennifer Lopez, or J-Lo as the kids call her. A particular gossip magazine reported that dancer Tammy Morris was a central figure in the controversy. When the story broke, that same gossip magazine offered Brandy's anywhere from a half million to two million dollars for their security camera recordings. And Brandy's, being the discreet and professional place that it is, declined the offer. Later, on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Ben said he called Jay Lo before he came here and told her he was going to a strip club, and she was okay with it. But a few months later, it was over for the super couple, known as Benifer. The three central figures in the story went on to continued success. Ben's careers include playing Batman, J Lo has been named one of the most influential people in the world, and Tammy Morris created Tantra Fitness. Vancouver's premier pole and aerial studio. I think I'll wrap up by taking the stage here and auditioning for the next ladies' night. I may or may not be naked. Special thanks to my host Nick here at Brandy's for his hospitality. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of old Vancouver as she once was. 
Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button. Until next time, be good to the other.